chilli crab is very subjective also. Some people like very sweet chilli crab. Some people oh. like very spicy chilli crab. Some people like very sour chilli crab. This so, is the sweet one. Yes, this is the this sweet, is the sweet, sweet one. tangy one. Right. 这种东西你敢 recommend 我们啊? Today, we are going to do a very special episode on some of the hidden gems that we found, okay? Yes, correct. And these places are not easy to get to. Mm. And the reason why we have Manto here today, right, is these places also happen to be pet friendly. Wow! Okay, so these are not necessarily pet cafes or what. Uh, they don't really cater uh, like a dog menu for them. Oh, but it's just really right, right. nice places that have nice food. And then it just happened to be pet friendly. There's also this mindset that pet friendly places, the food not very good. Which is often true. Usually. 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 It's often yeah. true. And it's today often... we are gonna debunk that for you. Ooh. And then of course today word of the day is Poppy Cup. Wow. Mm? Poppy Cup. Poppy Cup is like nonsense. Oh. Like you like oh, your okay. Poppy Cup. Or you can say that I have a big uh. <laughs> <laughs> And we are we going to our first location. Yeah. No, that's why in the comments say, right, we should do this in every episode. No, 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 no. So I, I have to accommodate to my audience. You made me forget everything <laughs> I want to say. We are at King Blue Dining and this time we are at the Rochester wow. branch. Uh, okay, this place looks a lot more atas and yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it's more accessible. And today we are having the Rosé Taboki Bulgogi Loaded Tater Tots Ooh. and Butcher's Choice Platter. The last time we tried, we absolutely love their food. Uh, correct, and today correct. we are featuring a different kind of dishes. dishes. Last time we eat like, all meat, la, 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 all seafood. Yeah. But this time, it's a little bit more different. Yeah. It's a bit more like snacky kind of food. Right. And the best thing is like we can bring our pets here. Ah yes. Manto is here uh, and Avery kidnapped uh, the dog. What? She so. said her today her job is just to be the daddy. Ah. Oh, she very happy. They also got the outdoor barbecue area. Yeah, yeah. And the outdoor barbecue area, right, they got this special platter called a butcher's choice platter, mm. which is what we are trying. But before we start, hey, of course, we have only coke. Ah, coke. Oh, only coke. Look at that. We need to hide. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, we have this very special ah. drink by them. No, so basically they are gonna launch a new item, which is their cocktails. Yes. Oh. Yeah. And we are having the mocktail version. Right. Yes. Sadly, three of us don't drink at all. Ah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So what I'm having is the watermelon surprise. <laughs> it's a mocktail. It's yeah, a mocktail. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's a cocktail version of it. And we are having the melona surprise. <laughs> I think quite interesting. I never see like they put with the. I think everybody knows the Malona mm. ice cream, right? And they put yeah. it with a jelly. That's very interesting. Let's head to the So we are having the butcher's choice platter. What's interesting about this platter, right, is everything is grilled over charcoal with apple wood chips. So then got the fragrance infused into the meat. Oh, they got a lot of variety. And uh, this is only available, right, if you dine outdoor. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. uh, but so, they'll grill it for you, lah. They'll yeah, grill it. Yeah, it's a good thing, ma. I mean, you're outdoor, then. It's ready to serve all. You don't have to cook it yourself. Mm. Which one do you try? Yeah, which one does start with? Then what is the beef short ribs, right? Mm. I'm not a beef connoisseur, but this is very good. Really. I would say this short ribs has no shortcomings. Oh, no. Every episode with uh, Ben wow. inside, right? It's always him talking puppy cock. Oh. Oh. Wow. So I tried the shark ribs. Now I'm gonna try. This is that. Black Angus. Ah. Oh, I tell you, because uh, they cook it for you, right? You cannot see how mumbling it is. But then uh, I saw the raw version, right? Wow, the mumbling, by pine the one. Wow. Very, very fatty. I prefer the short ribs. But I feel it's more cooked. I like the texture of the short ribs a lot more. Comparing both, I also prefer the short ribs. It's a lot more tender, I feel. And it has a lot more smoky flavor compared oh, to right, right. the other one. So, above yeah. y'all prefer the short ribs? Yeah. Mm. I prefer the black angles. Eh. What? Because oh, the black angles to me it tasted more like a stick. The pork jaw is also surprisingly good. Yeah, oh, yeah. usually you know I won't order pork. Right? Mm -hmm. Normally when you go to a barbecue restaurant, you cook it yourself, right? You won't cook the pork jaw until very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good thing that they cook this for you. Because they know how the perfect way to cook it. Alright, yeah, we yeah. we order pork jaw expensive, expensive, right. we cook until three, then one then, then, then it's like yeah, right, right. Right. Then but this time they, they prepare it very yeah. well. I think what they did with the pork jaw is quite amazing because I was expecting it to be very oily or very fatty, yeah, 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 yeah. right? But but I don't know how they cook it. They cook it to a point right, that the fats right, is rendered to like a bit gelatin like that. Yeah. It, it has a nice Able to it. chew ah, and yeah, usually, Then you won't feel the gelatin. Yeah, yeah, usually the fats right, you chew already right, then you put on Yeah, you put one Next up, we are trying the rosé taboki. Okay, so this is how to eat. Is it hot or is it hot? It's to the mouth. Look, 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 look,
I think why Ryan is confused because normally we eat it as a sauce, man. Uh, but this one, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, the sauce is a lot. It's almost okay. like a soup base, really. Yeah, yeah. I love Korean food, but tteokbokki is not one of my favorites. Oh, really? Yeah, I, agree I love right. tteokbokki, eh. Yeah. Yeah. It's like rice with extra snacks. Really? <laughs> 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 what? Okay, okay, okay. I just eat rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. This it's good. the rosé, right? It's the rosé, right? Okay. When I eat it, I can smell it already. Typically, right, when I eat the burger, it all tastes the same. Yeah. But this flavor, I don't know what is it. It almost have a hint. <laughs> oh, that's a... <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Typically, uh, I find all tteokbokki taste the same. Correct, agree. Okay, no matter where I eat, yeah, uh, I agree, yeah, uh, I agree, uh, agree. no matter where I eat, it's always the same sauce, same consistency, same chewiness, or mm. all the thing. This one, right, remains the good chewiness of the tteokbokki, mm. but the sauce is something that's really, really different yep. than I never eat before. Yep. At first, right, what I detected was like a hint, a hint of cheesiness. Then I thought I might not like it, but as I go, it's like, eh, it's not cheese, huh? It's not cheese. I don't know what it is, but it tastes very fragrant. Honestly, very I think it's cheese. Eh. So, ma, so cheese, I think the cheese is quite strong for me. Ooh. Cream! Oh, it's cream! It's cheese! It's cream! Wow. Yeah, but it's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess people that like cheese or don't like cheese will also like this dish. Mm. Honestly. Because you don't like it. Yeah, right? I don't like cheese. How it puts you When I first heard the thing rosé, right? There's only one other rosé I've ever eaten. It's the Samyong, the oh, rosé yeah, 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 noodle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, they're all my favourite. And that's also my favourite. Oh. Okay. That's the only thing I can compare to, right? Mm. And this is so much better. Yeah. It's very different. Because that one, right, the rosé very strong. Mm. And as a person that don't like cheesy right. and those kind of texture, right, I like it, but it's a bit too much. Right. This one is the hint of the rosé. Wow. Then it's just nice amount of flavour to pay with the topoki. I think very good. Yeah. Very good combination. Yeah. I will go so far to say, right, it's Mang Kai Wei one. Eh. Mm. It makes me hungry. Yeah, 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 it is, it is, this is something that is very new to me, but I will say it's uh, very delicious. Uh. Next up, we are having the Bulgogi Loaded Tater Tots. It's this over. looks damn <laughs> simple. <laughs> and I always thought Tater Tots is like kids. Hey. This is just potatoes with extra steps also. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but these steps is worth it. Okay, okay. Wow. Mm. When I first had the bulgogi, right, there's a punch of uh, sesame. And I have to say the tater tots, uh, I was wrong. Uh. I always thought tater tots all taste the same. And then every time when I try to pick up tater tots, it's just disintegrated. Oh yeah. It always no idea. This one. It holds the shape so well. Mm. It's so firm. I think they got like put some cheese. Uh. Yo, yo, yo. Mm. Again, I can't detect the cheese. Uh. I think because every other flavor uh, is too pronounced already. Yeah. The cheese is just a small hint of flavor. Yeah, yeah, it's a hint. Uh. And a hint. to me, right, this dish resembles like a. Uh, you know, I eat loaded fries. Loaded fries, yes. But loaded fries is those kind of cells of the meat. Uh. Personally, I don't feel like it's a very good combination because mm. the meat is not very flavorful. Yeah. It just add like, or you roll the country. It feels right? like two separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just, this one goes yeah, very well yeah. together because. Bulgogi is a very strong flavor, man. Smoky mm. and sweet. That comes with the tater tot crunchy. Mm. Everything is, is a good combination also. And this is something that I never thought to find in a Korean restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were never thought of that. And last but not least, I've agreed to try the alcoholic version for you. Good luck. No, uh, there's only my house with here, lah. Don't worry. <laughs> 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 okay, you're okay. Don't let guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I also have to say the alcohol, man. Yeah, so the ice cream makes it. The ice cream counteracts the bitterness of ah, the, yes, the, the, yes. the alcohol. Okay, question is which is your favorite? I think my favorite has to be the Toboki. Hey! But I think it's something very different than what we had. The meat platter is great. Yeah, yeah. We, we tried it the other time. It's the standard post. It's the same standard. But the Toboki is something that. It exceeded my expectation. Yeah, 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 yeah. For me, it also is the tteokbokki. Wow. Because uh, typically when we do all these features, right, we ask them, right, give us uh, your best recommendation. When I see tteokbokki on the menu, I say, wow, hong kan. <laughs> you say, it's siao. You just put one tteokbokki, you think how impressive uh, it can how be. Lian, how lian. But it's really quite impressive. So I would say the tteokbokki is the, my winner as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, because my favorite is also rosé. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we have a clear winner. So we have a clear winner. Please come down and try. Uh. Even if you are not here for the barbecue or what, please give the tteokbokki yeah. a try. I you think would, it's a must. You would think that tteokbokki is tteokbokki. You would think yeah, that rosé is rosé. Yeah. But this rosé tteokbokki is not your usual. Yeah, they cut it very well. Yeah. They uphold the standard already. Yeah. This is the standard. But good news for all birthday babies coming up. Because for every birthday all the way to 31st December 2024, Chingu got a promo that you can get 20% off your total bill wow, with Hi-yo. free soju bomb. Wow. Wow. The dessert of the day. But not just that, if you were to mention Opa Opa, 
wait for a surprise. There's a surprise oh. when you measure oh. Baba. Yeah. Then you might as well just mention Benjamin. Benjamin, Benjamin. Oh. Pretty sure there will oh. be reject entry here. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, you can also check out their other promos in the description box below. And with that, we are going to the next location. <laughs> so now we are at Wild Seed Alcalf Mansion and this place where I recommended to the producer when she asked me for my best pet friendly cafe. So they have a few different branches lah. But my personal favourite is at the Alcalf Mansion because of the space. Yeah, like yeah, as I if you are that. dining in nature. There are two dishes that I recommend. There is another two dishes that I have not tried before. So what we are having today is the Niku Veggie Burger, the Wild Seed Thick Toast and the soft shell crab chili pasta, which is my personal favorite. At the same time, we can also try the truffle brie pizza. Everything looks good. What would you recommend for us to start with? I feel that we should try the vegetarian option first. Because, oh. right, I didn't know they have vegetarian option. They told us that this is a vegetarian burger. Then I was oh. like, it looks really like yeah. a beef patty. It yeah. looks very yummy. Yeah. La. I think we can try first. Wow. If you don't tell me, I wouldn't know. I was yeah. gonna say that. The producer told us that they're featuring this because it was a very popular dish. It was a promotional menu. Also, it's not a permanent item. La. Then now, because it's so popular, it became a permanent menu. The moment we put it in my mouth, right, I was shocked. Eh. No way this is a vegetarian option. No way. The flavour resembles a lot to meat. However, the texture is a bit off only. Mm -hmm. That's the only part that don't resemble meat to me. La. If you are meat, I don't think you can tell. So, if I don't tell you, you cover the yeah. one. So next time, we will try the wild seed thick toast. And this is also another vegetarian friendly option. Yeah. But it looks more like a dessert to me. So the sauce on it right, is yogurt. The Ooh. Greek yogurt type, not the, the sweetened type that, that we are very used to outside. right? Okay, I'm a bit confused because this looks like dessert to me. But yet, it can also be like a breakfast dish. Again, feels like a very healthy... Mm. It is, it is. Option, yeah. I feel this is more of a dessert to me. I won't order as a main, la, but breakfast or dessert, yeah. So you want to eat that? Why can't you eat that? I don't know. Okay, this one I think you can eat. Next up, we're gonna try the main, which is the soft shell chili crab pasta. My one number them. one favorite in wow. this cafe already. You can smell it. Eh. Chili crab is very subjective also. Some people like very sweet chili crab. Some people oh. like very spicy chili crab. Some people like very sour chili crab. This so, is the sweet one. Yes, this is the this sweet, is the sweet, sweet one. tangy one. Right. This thing you can recommend to us. <laughs> this chili crab, ah, the flavor is on another level. One. Mm -hmm. They made it more spicy, yeah. they made it more flavorful, mm -hmm. and it goes so well together right, with right. the pasta. I've never tried a soft shell crab. This is really one of the better pasta out there. I like how the sauce is so, like what Ben said, ah, elevated version of like typical chili crab sauce. Everything is a little bit more intense. The sweetness will kick in first, then the spiciness. Oh, and it's not yeah. mild spicy, ah, it's quite spicy. Mm -hmm. But for me, ah, this is addictive, and the pasta is really Correct, good. correct. Yeah. Even though it's spicy, it's also yeah. very addictive to me. Yeah. The only one word I can use to describe this is intense. Next up, we got a truffle brie pizza. This is you like Because I feel like if you come to a well seat cafe, right, you should try their pizza and pasta. I have to admit, uh, I don't like cheese. However, I think the, the pizza itself is very well made. Wow. So strong, right? Got the cheese, damn strong. <laughs> you all must understand, Ben really, really hates cheese with a passion. But I will get why cheese lover will love this. Mm -hmm. It's super, super duper hey. intense. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> I feel like the cheese really carry the whole dish because mm. as you can see, there's no ingredients on it at all mm. except for the vegetable. Mm. How the whole cheese cheese carry the pizza, right? I think it's well done. For a cheese lover? I think you already will love this. You will love it. Yeah. So, out of all these that we featured, which are your favourites? Hands down. Chili crab pasta. Yes, same for me. No way lah. Yeah, the one very good. The one damn good. The sauce itself uh, has been one of the better ones that I've yes, tasted. Yes, 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 yes. Fusion pasta not easy to do, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. Special shout out to the thick toast. I think the thick toast is wonderful. Oh, I yes. love it. I will come here and order these two and oh, really? this, yeah. wow. I like the thick toast because it's very light, ma. So if I come here for breakfast, maybe I'm not ready to eat. Brunch up, brunch uh, maybe. Uh, then I will definitely order the yeah. tiktos. Actually, shout out uh, mm. to the pizza. Uh, I just realized I finished it. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, first time eh. Somehow you don't like cheese wow. Usually you eat cheese, you put down, you won't pick up again eh. It's wow. quite agitive eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too bad. And what's more right, the Alfasco area right, there's a lot of like small areas for the dogs to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are indoor sitting. Although you can't bring the pets inside, right? It's a very cozy and aesthetic mm. place to come yeah. also. La. So be sure to give Wild Seat Cafe at Alcalf Mansion a try. And we are headed to the next location. 
And for our last location, we are at Tanuki Raw. Yes. And I don't know if Tanuki Raw is a well-known brand to a lot of people. Yeah. But I eat it quite often when I was younger. Oh. And this is the place, right, that made me fall in love with their foie gras. Oh. I think yeah. they are more known for their sushi, I think. Right, right. Maki but, la, maki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But I come here for their foie gras. So what we're having is their foie gras truffle yakiniku chilled yuzu udon. Uh -huh. We also have their superior don. And lastly, we have the tempura autumn maki. First look at the udon, right? I am quite shocked by the size of the pagua. Crazy! Usually, it's like very itin eh, itin eh, but this is this is big. Eh. Yeah. So, uh, which one we are trying first? Maki lah, maki. Okay, okay. So, what's special about the tempura autumn maki, right? Is that instead of seaweed, right? They use fried rice paper. Wow. And then the ingredient inside is no crab. Wow. 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 I feel wow. like one of it is like a full meal. I like that it's rice paper. Oh, I think, it's a, I think it's a very different texture. Right, Not right, like right. the traditional seaweed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I had my first bite, right, I was a bit confused because rice paper roll usually is used by Vietnamese. Vietnamese yeah. But I never had a crispy one before. Yeah. So I'm very confused because it's like, when it's crispy, right, it's like tempura. Mm. But then when I try to tear it off, I forgot that it's rice paper roll. Yeah, 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 can feel. Yeah, they yeah, eat, yeah, yeah. It's a bit more uh, bouncy, bouncy, soft, yeah. soft one. The snow crab that they put inside is of generous amount and it's very nice. Uh. It's very yeah. fresh. Uh. Next up, we can try the superior don. So the superior don, right, consists of truffle yakiniku. Then they use beef tongue, simmered beef, and beef tendon. This is definitely superior. For $26.90, with this amount of meat, uh, I would say not wow. too bad. So even the rice, right, is not just plain rice. Oh. It, it looks like some special type, right? And if you all know Ben, right? Ben likes special type of rice. Oh yes, no plain white rice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, the rice. Really, wow. man. The rice. Fragrant, very fragrant. Ooh. Very deep, intense truffle flavor. And you can have a bit of beef fat seep into the rice. Actually, the rice makes it very healthy. Eh. Mm. It it feels, it. It's like you're eating some green rice like that. No, nah, correct. I was going to say that because usually people think that, oh, this is mixed with dark soya sauce, ah, all the fats, no, greasy. It's not, it's not. It's not. It's not eh. It feels a little bit more healthier. Mm. Oh my god, have you tried the beef tongue already? I love it eh. Oh yeah, yeah. I forget to try the beef. I keep eating the rice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, usually right, it's a love-hate relationship between beef tongue because right, if it's a very good quality one right, it's chewy, yes, but then you should be able to really tear them into pieces. So this one is exactly it. Can I just say right, that the three different parts of the cow that they put in there right, yeah. makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. all three have different texture. The tender is super duper soft. And then they have wagyu beef, which is the normal one, like the bitiness of a uh, meat. And then the beef tongue is the bouncy, bouncy, right. chewy, yeah. chewy kind. I think my favorite is the tender. No? I, I was gonna like, say that. My That's favorite. Is the yeah. I thought you would like the simmer beef, yeah. I also thought, but how the tender turned out so. Okay, the last one. Which... I want I'm more interested in. This is the fogra. I wanted to eat this. This one is, to me is the cream like the cream already because uh, it looks very good. It's very nicely presented and it looks very delicious. Uh. The pagua looks very sexy, but maybe I try the noodle first. Uh, we'll we'll try the udon sin. Uh. Wow, but I haven't eaten I haven't put it in my mouth. I can smell the yuzu. Eh. Damn! Wow, the yuzu. The yuzu twist is so refreshing. And the udon is so chewy. It has a very nice bite to it. It's very smooth. Eh? Yeah. Mm. I'm so glad we ate this last. Eh. Mm. Yeah. This girl is not saying yuzu. It's like shouting yuzu. Eh. Mm. The yuzu, you, if you are a lover oh. of yuzu, right, like me, you will love this. Yeah. Yeah. Just the noodle. Eh. I haven't even tried the ingredient. Eh. Wow, the pakwa really very generous. Eh. Sexy, yeah. oh. Yeah. You didn't turn what on. Mm. Right. I'm a bit turned on now. <laughs> okay. I can tell. Can you give me that on face? I just orgasm. Really? Try. Wow, this is pretty damn good, Pagua. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is very good, Pagua. I love this. And for the price, $29.90. I think very worth it. Yeah. I think you got a lot of premium things going on, okay? This udon is also not typical udon. You got a pagua, you got a truffle, you got a beef slices, and everything goes so well together. If you like pagua, you like yuzu, wow. Then this is our champion dish already. This is really very good. I feel like a proud dad, you know? Oh, wow. That goes like... That's a good dish. That's a good dish. That's a good dish. That's a good dish. But because uh, I love this place so much, I decided... You decided? I decide. You decide. Yeah, you I decide. decide. I, don't I don't care. care. I decide. Okay. Okay. Give y'all a promo code. Your code, Get Fat Tanuki. Right. For one for one of their new range of beef don. They yeah, were there. One yeah, for yeah. one. More details will be in the description yeah, box. Yeah, but you're about us. But okay, we'll go try. <laughs> I will talk to the boss later. <laughs> but make sure you must reserve first. Yeah, yeah.
yeah. Must reserve a seat uh, Then you all come And go for the one for one But then The more important question oh, is yes. Of today's places oh, wow. That we feature uh, Today uh, The first place we went to Chingu Dining Second place we went to Wow Seat at Alcove Mansion And then the third one Is Tanuki Raw Which is The ultimate favourite dish Wow, wow actually, Everything wow. is quite strong today uh. Your today is damn strong yeah. eh. Also to remind everybody uh, That all the places We feature today uh, Is pet friendly yeah. You can bring your pet And there. I think we have just debunked That pet friendly places Doesn't mean it doesn't have good food Wow Hanan Hanan Today is very hard to choose let me stroke my invisible beard first. Let me stroke my... <laughs> <laughs> I think I know my one. My one was still with the yuzu udon. Because oh. I really, really love yuzu. I really, really love agua. So I'm biased already. Okay. So I, really I got mine already. I got mine uh, already. So I think mine would be... Topoki. Wow. Wow. Okay, that, that, that is a very close one. You know why? Yeah. You know why? Because I feel like... Okay lah, yuzu, you eat other dishes also will have, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Udon, uh, other places also got yeah. chilled udon. But you want to find topoki? No, you want yeah. to find topoki, it's easy to find. But yeah. the rose, yeah. topoki at Chingu, it is so, so different. Yeah. I made my decision. What? Yes, to be the yuzu udon. <laughs> I cannot lie. Okay. No. You cannot betray your first love. Every time uh, I'm on this show, I always say like, what wins my heart is right. something that's interesting. Right. And something that uh, blows my mind. Today, uh, our favourite dish of every place uh, blew my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really did. I agree, I agree. But why this dish wins, right? It's because it blew my mind for the second time. Wow. Oh, right. Wow. Like, okay, okay, it was okay. my first love. I love the foie gras yeah. when I first ate it. And I already know like, oh, how it tastes. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. Every time we do get fat, I always tell Ryan, I don't want to food yeah. Well, real reaction correct, when, correct, correct, correct. when I eat. Yeah, yeah. And I really know the taste, but yeah. I thought like nothing surprising. You when I eat again, right? You wow. surprised again. I surprised right. again. Wow. So today, the clear winner is the Yuzu Udon from Tanuki Raw. Yay. But please try every day. I think today really quite no, very good. Today, today very yeah. hard to, yeah. to yeah. really yeah. find it's the a best. Good episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the previous season, right? We were mentioning that every ten episodes we will reshuffle our leaderboard and say correct, correct, that correct. these are the current places. So we will show you the current top ten places now. And as always, we remember to follow all our socials. Follow Xiao Xian in her socials and click here for more. Click the one. I cut to the blue one. Welcome, like to show the proof. Can I? Don't talk about it. Hey, talk about it.